professional ministry meets once a week and the women gather to knit or crochet shawls that are blessed first and then given. And the shawls can be given for comfort and prayer, but they can all be, also be given for joy and celebration. Every shawl is put in a purple bag and given a card which explains what we do, why we do it. We pray over them. Every shawl that goes out, most of the hats and scarves and things that go out are always blessed. What I love about prayer shawl ministry is being able to share our prayer shawls. We lost one of our members, um, Mary Jo Scott, a while ago, and we were able to share, send prayer shawls to her daughters. And they sent us a lovely card letting us know how much they, they meant to them, and, and especially because their mom enjoyed working at the prayer shawl ministry. Also, we surprised Mark Gerard, our former minister, with a prayer shawl in the colors of his Green Bay Packers. It was after he had his shoulder surgery. Also, some of us make hats and scarves for either homeless people or there's a school that takes them for their kids. I just wanted to tell you about the, the little Christmas hats that we make each year and send to St. Joe East Nursery and the intensive care nursery. Last year, we started about July and started making hats. We made about 150. And they start putting them on the babies the 1st of December. And each baby gets a hat, whether they're in the intensive care or the regular nursery. And they get these and they take them home with them. And so far, our little tiny group has made almost 500 shawls and we've given over 400, including three or four boxes worth that we sent to the Ukraine to be given out to the refugees that are coming into Poland. If you know of anyone who is in need or wants a shawl, you need to contact the prayer shawl ministry or you can contact the church office.